Hello, Brookston Holiday here. Um, I just wanted to upload a couple of quick mesh tips um, that might come in handy if you're uploading mesh into Second Life. Uh, so here I am on the beta grid, and this is a, uh, a yacht that I've been working on, um, on and off for I think over a year now. And I've been doing some test uploads, and I wanted to talk a little bit about land impact when you're uploading a big mesh like this. So I don't like having to do my own LODs if I can avoid it. And in this case, what I've done is I've tried to group things so that they, uh, they don't start going to the lower LOD until you're far enough away that you don't care that Second Life's automatic LOD generation is kind of crummy, right? So by the time I'm this close, I'm already looking pretty good on this detail on the, uh, the uh, chain windlass. And um, yeah, but here's the problem. If I go into this more info, I can look at my uh, weights and my download weight is actually quite a bit bigger than my server weight. And what that means is um, the download gets calculated based on uh, a lot of it is how big your grouped items are. So if I look at this, I group these all together to make it easy to just quickly change them to shiny and see how the shiny was going to look um, in Second Life. I'll change it to noon. So, right, I, I wanted to change. Uh, I wanted to check how the highlights would look on these, and uh, so I grouped them all together. But what what's happening now is my uh, server weight's pretty low, but my download weight's high, and I could probably get a lower overall land impact by making these groups um, smaller. And the the reason is right now. Uh, if you look at the bounding box for this, it's it's pretty big. I mean, that's got to be like 12 meters tall, um, maybe 10 meters tall. I don't know. Anyway, the bounding box is big, so it doesn't go to your lower LOD until you're quite a bit farther away. And so what this is saying is most people viewing this yacht are going to have to download the high detail mesh, the larger um, file size mesh, uh, most of the time, because even when you're this far away, you're downloading that, that higher LOD. Um, the low server number means uh, there's just less objects in the mesh. Because these are grouped together, it only has to keep track of the position, rotation, and stuff of this one object, so your server weight is lower. But again, it's uh, more often going to be the high LOD, so your download weight is higher. So here I am in Maya, and I'm going to regroup those objects so that we can see the effect on land impact. So I have this guy, go here, isolate him, and then uh, mesh, separate. Okay, then I'm going to delete my history, freeze, reset, just so I don't get any weird groups that mess up my origin later. All right, so I'll group these together. These together, these together, and these together. All right. And then go back here, isolate, mesh, separate. Resetting all my transforms. Okay. And then I'll group, oh, group those together, those together, those together, those together. All right. And then, uh, Select everything. So here I am back in Second Life, and I have my old yacht version on the right with everything grouped into one large mesh. Then I have the new yacht on the left with uh, four different meshes here in the front, and then I did the same thing in the back. Got four different meshes in the back instead of one. And let's see what it did for our land impact. Here we have 127. That's not right. There we go. So my land impact's coming from still the download. It's 126.6, and I have the 69 server. Now, when I regrouped everything, my server weight went up to 72, but my download weight went down to 114.8. So that's good for us. Um, it, it allows me to get a lower overall land impact without actually having to remove any, uh, any triangles, any vertices or anything. Um, it's still the same meshes. It's just the LOD switch is going to happen sooner now. 
as I pull away there, we get the uh, crappy looking LOD at around that level. Whereas on the old grouping, because it's such a larger mesh, the LOD switch doesn't happen until we're way out here. See? In fact, you don't even notice the first couple of LOD switches. You're so far away. Which is great, you know? It, uh, it looks better. And you just have to decide, is it worth that extra 12 land impact? Um, it's going to end up depending for me on... Uh, I think I'm going to reach the grouping limit because I'm already 144 prims for the hull. And I think the inside is already a couple of hundred, so I'm going to have to group some things in order to be able to link it all together. But it's just good to know that you can uh, affect the land impact without having to remodel anything or make your own LODs or, or do anything drastic just by grouping things differently. Anyway, that's just a quick tip I wanted to share with you guys. If you liked it, please subscribe or like it or do whatever you do on YouTube. I don't know. I uh, uh, It was good talking to you guys. Have a good one.